And we do have some presentations this evening. The first is to present a proclamation declaring April 10 to the 16th, 2017 as National Dispatcher Week. And I'd like to read these. Declaring National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. Whereas dedicated public safety telecommunicators, including dispatchers and call takers, serve those who reside, work, and frequent the City of San Bruno on a daily basis by answering their requests for law enforcement, fire, and emergency medical services by dispatching the appropriate assistance as quickly as possible. And whereas the professional public safety telecommunicator is that vital link between the citizen or victim and the public safety provider who may apprehend a criminal, save their possessions from fire, save their life, or the life of a loved one. And whereas the safety of our officers and firefighters is dependent upon the quality and accuracy of information obtained by the telecommunicator and the dispatcher's activities providing radio, telephone, and computer services. And whereas the cr critical functions performed by professional telecommunicators also include those related to traffic safety, road maintenance, public utilities, and other services that affect the health and safety of our citizens. And whereas emergencies can strike at any time, we know that in San Bruno. We rely on the vigilance and preparedness of these individuals 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And whereas the Association of Public Safety Communications Officials, APCO, an organization of over 16,000 people in the United States and Canada, has set aside this week in April to recognize telecommunicators and their crucial role in the protection of life and property. Now, therefore, I, Jim Ruane, the Mayor of the City of San Bruno, and on behalf of the San Bruno City Council, do hereby proclaim the week of April 9th through April 15th, 2017, to be National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week in San Bruno in honor of the men and women whose diligence and professionalism help keep our community and citizens safe. And I'd like to present this to uh, Michael Cook, Police Department Records and Dispatch Supervisor. Mayor Ruane and City Council. Mayor Ruin and City Council, thank you very much. We look forward to this week every year. Um, dispatchers have to be strong type A personalities to be successful at what they do. And even with that, we don't like being in the limelight. Uh, only uh, two, two of our uh, six could be here tonight, not including me. Uh, the others had to work today, have to work graveyard shift. Shannon, in fact, is working this evening. And Dammers came up on her day off. But we really appreciate the proclamation. We appreciate the recognition. And uh, we'd like to let the citizens of San Bruno know that uh, we will be here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365, 466 days a year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for all you do. <laughs> and now Chief Barberini, it's a special presentation. Chief. Thank you. Thank you, um, Honorable Mayor and Council Members. Um, just to follow up on uh, Dispatch Appreciation Week, it is a special week for, for, for all of us. Um, as. The dispatchers are truly our unsung heroes um, within the police department. Um, I like to refer to them as the masters of multitasking. Uh, they can do uh, several different things at one time, and, and they're awfully intimidating because they can do things that I'll never be able to do. Uh, one of the observations that we often hear about folks who call into the dispatch center is um, that the person on the other end of the line is, is not um, really interested in a conversation. It's, it's a hurried, uh, short type of just the facts approach um, to, to, the, to answering the call. Um, I've uh, experienced that several times. In fact, I think they just recognize my voice and they like to put the chief on hold. Um, <laughs> but there, there's actually um, uh, uh, a reason behind it, and it, it's, it's a, it is a just the facts approach. Um, the, the tasks that they're asked to do or the tasks that they're asked to do are, are pretty incredible. They're, um, they're asked to, to manage several phone calls at the same time, as well as radio traffic for police officers in the field. In San Bruno, most of the time, that dispatcher is sitting in a room by herself. Um, do it or his self doing doing um, all of that uh, by themselves um, and so we, we like to we like to point that out and and, and let folks know that um, they just have a few seconds to determine the severity of the call that they're answering and whether that is a life-threatening call and what type of emergency services need to be dispatched in response to that call or is it something that hey I can put on hold for for a minute or so while I answer the the phone calls that are that are ringing or the officer who is is um, providing radio traffic from the field. Um, it's very, very rare that a dispatcher is not on multiple lines um, throughout the course of the day, which proves to be a, a, a stressful and, um, and, and very labor-intensive um, uh, endeavor. And, uh, and we're pretty proud of the ones that we have 
We have here, they're, um, like I mentioned, a lifeline to both the community and to the officers. They, they, uh, the officers rely on dispatchers to keep them safe um, when they are out in the field. Um, and again, uh, they, send, they send all types of, all resources to all types of different calls. It's not just police department calls that we get. We get calls for police, fire, emergency medical services, even some public works and, and other services. Last year, they handled over 39,000 calls, which is, uh, which is, is, is pretty incredible and, uh, and a, a, a large call, call volume. Um, we like to pick out one, one kind of example of what they do, and, and the, all of our dispatchers are exceptional, and they do exceptional things on a regular basis, but there was one incident that, that kind of um, illustrates what we're talking about um, tonight. Uh, just after dispatcher week last year, um, dispatcher Shannon Rohatch, who's with us tonight, she loves being uh, <laughs> front and center, um, she received a call of a suicidal subject, and she immediately dispatched officers to a residence in San Bruno. Uh, the officers arrived at the residence, and they found a... a, a pretty ugly scene. There was a, a lot of blood um, at the residence, but there was nobody there. Um, there was no subject um, there. So we, uh, we found our, the dispatchers or the officers found themselves in a difficult position because they knew that somebody may have been in, in peril. May, there may be a, a, may be a life-threatening situation, but they didn't know where to go from there. Um, Shannon um, didn't let the call go, uh, followed up and, and was able to uh, retrieve a cell phone number from a previous contact with the individual. She called that cell phone number. Uh, the initial call that she made was answered, but nobody would speak to her on the other end of the line. Um, that call was then disconnected. Um, so she, and, and then she continued to call back and did not receive an answer. Um, she played back the, the original call that she made, meaning that she listened to a recording of that call, and she heard what she believed to be a, uh, an overhead announcement similar to that you'd hear at the BART station. Um, so she sent officers to the, to, the, to the BART station, and she's doing all of this while handling other calls for service and, and dealing with several other officers in the field. Um, and while, while, while doing that, she sent, uh, she sent a photo electronically of the subject that the officers were looking for so they know who they'd be looking for when they went to the BART station. And sure enough, they arrived at the BART station and found the subject who had, um, who had cut his wrist in an attempt to, to harm himself. And uh, we were able to get medical attention there in a, in a timely manner. And, uh, and what could have been a long, drawn-out uh, search o over a period of several hours with who knows what the outcome could have been turned out to be something that was resolved very quickly and safely only due to the actions of the, of the dispatcher. Um, it's important to note that her familiarity with the city um, and knowing her community and, uh, and having that relationship um, is something that served not only the officers well in fo locating the subject, but served the resident of the city extremely well um, that day. So um, on behalf of the police department, we, uh, we recognize Shannon's um, uh, heroic um, actions that day with a uh, police captain's commendation. So congratulations. <laughs> On behalf of Dispatcher Rowatch, I'll accept this uh, this award. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All. Thank you very much. Congratulations.